Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield from the KDKA TV studios. It's Pittsburgh Today Live. Yeah, we have been invaded by sunflowers. We will explain why coming up. I can't wait. They're so pretty, too. Oh, they're awesome. And I think that you can eat a lot of the sunflower. Really? I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Not that you necessarily Don't give this to. as advice unless you know for sure. Because people at home will start, we hey, need to research this. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Siri, how much of the sunflower can you eat? <laughs> it's looking it up for me as right. we speak. We're going to get back to that. Don't she start chewing right on here. your sunflowers. I think that you can eat a good portion of it. Okay. The whole sunflower, delicious down to the stem. <laughs> what okay. happens to the stem? I think, I think that just don't eat the roots. I think maybe that's the only thing. All right. Oh um, we, maybe look that up on your I, own just to be safe. Yeah. All right. I just did. That we, fast. We have tapped into something people are talking about and reacting oh, yeah. to. Our What's Your Thing Wednesday question. Price of a stamp going up again. Oh, first yeah. First steps, first class stamp. It's already gone up last month, 68 cents to 73 cents again. And I think that this is, you know, if you're doing like, one one letter you have to mail out or right. a special bill that actually needs to go by by mail that's one thing 75 cents 73 cents mm -hmm. fine but when you're sending out mass stuff like if you're getting married or birthday invitations oh, yeah, exactly. or christmas cards which we know are coming up soon right exactly it's going to be a big expense for so people so that's what we asked everybody so is the, will the increased cost of stamps affect how much you mail and so let's see what people said on our Pittsburgh Today live facebook page uh, Tracy says, I purchased a large amount of forever stamps a few years ago, including some Christmas stamps. Once those are gone, I probably will no longer send cards through the mail. So she's still riding on like, you know, right. 54 she's got cent enough. stamps. Yeah, in fact, so if you need a stamp, go to Tracy's no, house. No, I don't think she's, yeah. it's precious commodity now. I'm not so sure Tracy's, Tracy's not, them up. She's like, no, yeah. go <laughs> away, everybody. I know, one, uh, yeah. All right, Paul is saying, we don't normally send snail mail. They keep, they can keep their stamps. Other options are cheaper and faster. Um, Although you know how I feel, there's one, there's something nice about getting a written card. Well, and I think, that yeah. I think that you're absolutely right. I, I'm the same way. I think it's really nice to be able to send them. I will still send our Christmas cards. I just know that it's going to be a lot more expensive this yeah, year to it's, do it. Exactly. Um, so Jack says, no, it surprises me that the mail doesn't cost more. It truly is an amazing service. When you think about it, you drop a small envelope, mm -hmm. even a postcard in the box, and in just a couple of days, it can go halfway across the world. Good reminder, Jack. That's yeah. very true, actually. Sandy says, I used to send a lot of Christmas cards, but the increase years ago was enough to make me stop. So she's already stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, go ahead. Else? What, what was the email that we got? I'm trying to think of what she wrote. She was so funny in that email that I sent to you yesterday. I... Do you remember this? Um, Janine says, some people are so precious to us, they must receive the traditional holiday card. May cut down the list, but core family and friends need uh, to have our holiday wishes sent to them. Yeah, and it's Marian really says, no, I am still old school, drives my family <laughs> nuts. I still even write out old, I write out checks and I mail my bills. All right, Marion. There you go, Marion. You know what you're like and you're sticking to it. you. All right, but good topic, because a lot of you weighed in on this. And really, you do feel the pinch, like you said, whenever you're sending out a bunch of cards, right. like for That's some event or something like that. A big deal. Exactly. 36% um, of you say, yes, I'm going to start mailing less, and then 64% said, no, I'll just pay it. Keep mailing things. Thanks for weighing in, everybody. We love uh, this one. So a man in Philadelphia wants to find someone to date. And his strategy is attracting attention. Yeah, he said, you know what? Enough with the dating apps. Let's just do this. Let's just get a big billboard. Hey, you're not just dating me. You're also dating my cat. Right. FYI. I love how the cat's on there. The cat looks exhausted, by the way, in this picture. It's quite a picture <laughs> right. of the cat. So this is 28-year-old Dave Klein. Uh, he says he can cook well. He okay. has normal hobbies. And he owns a cat. Which no relation to Gary that. Klein. No, no relation to Gary Klein, although spelled the same way. Uh, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, it is spelled the same way. Uh, and then, of course, women can reach him through Instagram. He says this was supposed to be funny, but he is getting messages from women and has set up at least one date. And we want to show you one other post that he put on his Instagram because okay. I thought this one was cute, too. So he's drawn a little outline, and he's pretending that he's chatting with, with a gal there. This could be you. 
Well, it could be. I, I mean, <laughs> whoever it is is smiling, so it looks right. like a fun time. It does. Well, so we're going to keep strong. you updated on how, <laughs> how this goes for Dave. Uh, who knows, you know? Sometimes it's c being creative. And the other thing about it, having some humor. Humor is so attractive. We have talked about this so much. We've talked about dating so much on Talk Pittsburgh, too. And I do not envy people who are going through the dating process. Oh, no. Not now. It's a, a whole different ball game. We have. We, I can't even weigh in on how bad it is. It's well, awful for people. The, the fact that people meet through this, I yes. just think becomes, well, becomes so much, game. I can't wrap my head around it. Like it's just, yeah, so I'm glad that, you know, both of us are glad. We, we don't we've already found anymore. our significant <laughs> others, thank goodness. Well, Back to School Week continues on KDKA and Pittsburgh Today Live. And uh, yesterday, you know, we talked about getting ready for your dorm room. If you have mm -hmm. college kids, heading out for the first time. Also, that soup, that dinner recipe that we got from Chef Crystal, that soup, stew, whatever, it was so good. It was amazing. Yeah. So today we're learning how to save money with an extreme coupon, or I'm excited about that. It's going to be really good, because I think that we forget sometimes about saving up the coupons or really taking advantage of the sales that are out there. And knowing which ones to deal with and which things not to deal with, because otherwise it becomes just overwhelming. Did I know? tell you that Sunny accidentally threw away my Old Navy super cash? Oh, really? <laughs> you all know it's a precious commodity. And I was digging through the trash, like where I finally called Old Navy and they, they give, gave they me. They would like probably, a yeah. They were like, it's okay, we want you to come that's back kidding. and spend your that's money. Like throwing away, like, do you remember the card that you can get at, at Wendy's to get the Junior Frosty? Yeah. yeah. Like, you, know, you don't want to lose that. This was $40. $40 <laughs> yeah. off of your next purchase. No, this you is need a big that. one. Yeah. Uh, well, if you don't find thing. it, call Old Navy. I did. I did. I called them. Okay. They gave me the. the okay, code. good. All right. We're all good now. <laughs> uh, this was really fun. You know, Brett Michaels, Butler native, and he popped up somewhere yesterday, had a lot of people talking. Yeah, so he was at Steelers camp. Yeah, posing for pictures with Coach Cower or Coach Tomlin there. Oh my gosh, I'm going back in time. Oh, could you imagine <laughs> if Coach Cower was there? Oh, what, what is wrong with me? Why am I back in? That was a while ago. Yeah, so Brett Michaels uh, grew up in or was born in Shakora. Ron's favorite town name to say. Chikora. Uh, <laughs> yes. Chikora. Chikora. No. Uh, but he actually grew up in Mechanicsburg. But we claim him, you know, because he's from, he, he was born in Butler County. There we go. Yeah. I was on his tour bus once. I know. This is. I know. I bring it up every time we I talk gonna about say, it. I was going to say, David, this is like just, talking to my grandpa. Like, did yeah, I, I ever tell you the story the about one time I, <laughs> I was on his door bus. bus. He let me look <laughs> in the fridge. We went all the way back to the bedroom, and then he said, that part's off limits. And then yeah. I pulled out a Werther's Original, and I offered him some candy. Thank you for the tour. It hasn't gotten that bad, has it? <laughs> but I, when you have a good story like that, don't you just want to tell it over and over until people around you can't stand it anymore? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're stressed out, apparently... Your fur babies can tell. Yeah. This is really something. You know, and I do think animals are intuitive. And yeah. so they did this study, particularly on dogs. New York Post reported about it. So they paired dogs up with strangers. Mm -hmm. Like they're not their owners because their owners, they might Different be able to level. pick up on the cues and yeah. things. And then they put the owners through these stressful tasks. And then they took sw like sweat samples from the owners and it stressed out the dogs so, so wait, much the, so the owners or people who were oh, the, not the, the people, owners yeah the people that they were paired with yeah the people they were paired the with the strangers right yeah they took the samples of sweat after they were stressed and then the dogs were like thrown off so much so that they couldn't even find treats well this makes a lot of sense because you know dogs are so good at finding things or detecting things that are able to pick up on medical problems that are happening right. to people so right we've this talked about total dogs sense. that can like sniff out cancer yeah, yeah. this is re that's really fascinating i think it is all right speaking of smells would your dog like perfume uh, maybe a bath but okay. I don't know about perfume. <laughs> is this to cover it up in between baths, maybe? <laughs> maybe this is what it's about. I'm not sure dogs would like this because they're so sensitive to smells to begin with. But yeah. there is dog perfume that's coming out. Is this, is it called, would you pronounce this Fifi? I think it'd be Fifi, yeah. Oh, that is, I actually like the name of that. I, I like it too, Fifi. yeah. Fifi, it sounds It sounds fancy. like a rich dog. It does sound like, like Fifi, a rich dog. Fifi, you know, Fifi, she loves her perfume. 
Uh, but Dolce and Gabbana. Actually, there you go. It's named really after their dog. It's, it's named after. It's named after Dolce's Do dog. Domenico Dolce's dog, <laughs> uh, and the perfume is quote an olfactory masterpiece with a touch of musk and the creamy undertones of sandalwood. Is this Fifi in the picture? Do we know? I don't know. I don't know. I wonder. Or it, it could be an actress playing Fifi. I, if this is Domenico Dolce's dog, he is in fact rich. I, well, that is a rich dog, you're right. You can tell it's a rich dog? Well, I would say Domenico Dolce is, oh, I see. My, is yes. wealthy. You're correct about that. So there's definitely a lot of wet dog food happening in that house. You know? Yes, $109, and it comes with a D&G dog collar. Hmm. All right. Okay. I, I, why did you put this note in here about the dog poop bag holder charm? Well, that's something else that CNN had reported. There was a British designer that says there is a dog poop bag holder charm <laughs> that goes for $172 if you're really into buying expensive things for your dog. We spoil them. Yeah. We pamper them. And there's another perfume that is, I mean, this it's just. This one is bizarre to me. I don't know what. They're all bizarre, but. Yeah. This is to smell like pretzels. Auntie Anne's is coming out with this. It's called Need, and uh, I, I have we have not smelled this, so no. I, I can't say for certain. But pretzels might smell a little yeasty, and I'm not so sure that that's a, a smell people want to go attracted. for. Well, it says it's infused with the notes of buttery dough, salt, and a hint of sweetness. Uh huh. You know, I will say this: you walk into the mall and you smell Auntie Anne's, and it does call to you. Yeah. But isn't that mostly like the cinnamon or the I sugar so, stuff that they maybe. put on some of them? It does. That and the uh, the nuts, the roasted nuts that yeah, they do around Christmas that's true. time. Oh, yep. Sign it's me like, up. It totally gets you. It totally gets you. It every pulls single you. Time. You can be the entire other end of the mall, and you're like. Can I tell you the <laughs> one thing I hate in perfumes? Vanilla. What? Hate it. Oh, it reminds me of like the the kid perfume that I would buy, or the sprays that you would buy when you were a kid, and it, they were just so heavy in vanilla. I can't stand it anymore. Huh. I don't really have, I mean I like the smell of actual vanilla yeah yeah but not that I like yeah but same. I don't know if like a, a, a vanilla a, a perfume. perfume I don't know I'm Can't not sure if I smell that not my thing all right yesterday we went to a really cool auction happening this week in Washington BA but because of a special report you may not have seen like the very best part of this I know there was so much cool stuff that they were showing us in there so there and this is a two-day auction so mm -hmm. yesterday was one of them there's another part today but we want to show you something really cool Joe Pyle showed this to us Take a look. A lot of signature items. You can see these walls are full of items that are, are people's autographs. This is probably the most valuable one we have. This is a signature card for every president of the United States. So what? their signature card and their photo. That was really neat. Yeah. And what did he say? He said something like he did something like this, similar. A few years back, and it went for like twenty-eight thousand dollars or something. It, it, it's it was an amazing crazy. amount of money. Yeah. yeah. So they also have Marilyn Monroe memorabilia, Elvis mm. memorabilia. It continues today at ten a.m. So it is at the the former Washington Crown Center, the mall there. The mall. Yeah. yeah. Right behind the Chrysler Dodge dealership. Very cool. All right. Very neat. It is.